Hey everybody, it's the coach. This is a special edition of the Divisional Round Playoffs on EA Sports. On tap, we've got what should be a fairly intriguing matchup between the San Francisco 49ers and the Seattle Seahawks. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, we are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Ahead, we'll decide the second entrant to next week's NFC title game as we've got a great one in store between the San Francisco 49ers and the Seattle Seahawks. Hello, everyone. As the postseason continues here on EA Sports, we're pleased to bring it to you. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And who has the edge here? You got one side that had some extra rest, but another comes in off a win last week in the wild card round. And it's funny, depending on which team you are, you say that that's an advantage. You'll take the rest. You'll take the week off. Get your guys healed up a little bit and ready to go. But that team that's coming in off of a win last week, they're really excited to keep playing. They feel like they are hot and ready to go. Completed. Every receiver was locked up. On third down, Lane. That's caught by Howard. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. As his guys are in for six. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. The papers this week, it was all talk about how big of a game this was. Of course it is. It's the playoffs. It's the divisional round. But they handle it well. They score early. They really did. Plenty of confidence exuded on that. They'll run on first down. Stenson. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. It's a loss of four on the first down play. Came out in a power set, but that only served to put more men in the box. And guess what? If you're going to do that, you've got to win up front, right? Your offensive guys have got to beat the defenders. They lost all leverage on that play. To throw on third down. Brown. And that will be incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. And this one is right down Broadway. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. They got the interception, but very little movement after, and that forces him to settle. You did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. On first and 10, Lane. Caught by Jones. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their time. Ush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync on the way to play good defense. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three. The letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Looking to throw. Lane. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, so a drive that spans all that time, and yet you may only come away with three points here. Well, your defense, all right, they actually like these long drives. In terms of touchdowns, that's frustrating. They've got to figure out how to close out these long drives and get sixes instead of threes. And his kick is indeed good, and they take the lead here by a point, 10 to 9. A dozen plays on that drive that ends with the field goal. Let's go ahead and break out some of the old chestnuts here, right, partner? Now, there was a fraction of a second because he caught it, just couldn't stay in bounds. Man open, it's Goodwin. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeout. Brown now. From the gun, he'll throw. 
And that's going to be incomplete. Two creates a lot of confusion. Have a muddle in the middle of the field where you go make a play on the football. Another, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Got a man on the right sideline. It's Garcia. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll stop a percentage, but it is first and ten. Back to throw. Brown. And that will be incomplete with a clip. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And they take the lead here by two, 12-10. Well, the drive ends in just three, but they'll take it. Looks like they'll head to the locker room, barring something unfortunate in front on the scoreboard. They love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. Great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. Filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. And he's brought down. That'll be cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme. Get a little bit more. And he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. On fourth down, Lane. And that is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And as a result, their playoff run may end right here. And they have been disruptive in the passing game. Guy in your area and those windows that quarterbacks are seeking to throw into, they're closed in this case. Yeah, they've been all over the place, knocking down pass after pass. Where they go from here on out, they think they can beat anyone. So they stay alive in the NFL playoffs, move on to the conference be talking about tickets to the Super Bowl even before you play the conference championship game. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. So long, everybody.